Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today is a tutorial video about the MG dashboard and screen for your information. As always, you can find the playlist down below so you can check all the MG4 tutorial videos in the future. If you enjoy the content, please do not forget to subscribe and like to support this small channel. I'll turn the camera around, let's get started. All right. This is how the screen looks like on the MG4 electric vehicle. This is a seven inch display, by the way. So on this particular screen, you can consider it has four different section available. The top left section is for your assistant packages, for your adaptive cruise control, land departure warning, and land keep assistance, information like that. In the center top of the screen, you have the information like your time, your case, and all that things. On the right, you have a different section, Underneath, you have a whole section. I'll explain the first one for you. So first one is your driving assistance system. So basically, while you are driving along, you can see your cruise control, you can see your land departure warning. If you have any faults or anything like that related to the uh, assistance systems, it's gonna show on the top over here, like yellow light or green light, or anything like that. Green means it's working, yellow it means it's ready or faulty, anything like that. So that's the assistance systems. And in the center, we have the information screen. On the top, that's the time, current time available in New Zealand right now. And then we have the speedo sign, that's your speed recognition system that's available on the MG4. That means it will pick up the speed sign for you and read out the speed sign for you. And here we have the kilometers per hour, that's your driving speed. While you're still driving, it's gonna show up on here. Obviously the lowest is going to be zero. Next, we have the ready sign. The ready means the motor is completely switched on. If you don't have the ready sign, that means the motor is not switched on just yet. You might switch the vehicle halfway on or half motor on. Next is the parking brake. Right now, the parking brake is engaged with the red P button. If your parking brake is disengaged, it's gonna show nothing. If you have auto hold, it's gonna show a gray light of auto hold. Then if the auto hold is engaged, it's going to show green light of the auto hold. So that's the parking brake. Underneath, we have 80% charge and 311 k's to go on this particular vehicle. In this vehicle, the WLTP range on, is 435 kilometers on 100%, but it does not necessarily mean that it will always show 435 k's on this particular variant. The vehicle information or the odometer or the range to empty information actually is all called GOM, guess or meter. That means it's giving you a real world figure based on how is your driving conditions, how is your consumption. You can see this vehicle consumption is quite high. That's why at 80%, it's quite low configuration. If you change anything in terms of change your driving, let's say normal to sport, it will fluctuate just like that. And if you change anything like aircon, if I switch the aircon on, and switch the aircon off, you can see that numbers will change as well. So that means based on how you drive the vehicle at the moment or over the last period of time on your accumulated auto, it's going to give you some information over here. So that will fluctuate. So don't worry if you fully charge the vehicle tonight, it's not, not going to show the case that the vehicle advertise. It does not necessarily mean it's going to degradating. It only means the vehicle is giving you the actual indication of how your driving is going to be in the next 80%. Next, the other panel on the top right, we have the information panel. The information panel can be changed while you're pressing the steering control. To go into the information panel, you will need to notice if there's a bar on the top or not. If there's no like menu bar over here, you will need to press the menu bar first, which is this button. Tap it once. That menu bar will show. After that, you can go left or right to change whatever you like. If you don't tap the menu bar, there's no display menu bar on the top. And if you go this control, left or right, up and down, it's going to change your stereo unit instead of your menu bar, if that makes sense. So now click the menu bar, let's go right. The first one is your navigation information. So the navigation is only available on the Essence. That means on the Excite, you don't have this particular panel. If you start doing navigation, it's gonna show and it's gonna show your guidance. Let's say 200 meters ahead, go right or take left after a corner, stuff like that will show you information. 
No navigation guidance means we're not driving on navigation or we're not using the inbuilt navigation, by the way. And only the inbuilt navigation will be able to show here. Anything related to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto navigation would not show on the display board. Go right again, that's your setting menu. We can change the brightness level. Under the brightness, we can click OK and go up or down. There are three levels of brightness. Stay on where you like it and click OK to confirm. Next one is called over speed threshold. You can consider this one as a speed limiter warning. That means if we click OK, we go down, go down, down, let's go 40. I'm gonna click OK. That means when my speed drives to 40 kilometers per hour on my next drive, it's gonna give you a warning. It's gonna give you a warning that says you're over your lim speed limit threshold. Apart from, the, apart from the warning, it's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna limit your throttle or anything like that because this is a different function against the MG Pilot system, which I will do a video on the MG Pilot for your information. If you do not wish to have the over speed threshold, just click up and click off, click OK, just like that. For, for my opinion on this particular setting, you want to set there is a high number, a motorway number. Let's say in New Zealand, you want to set a 100, 105, 110, whatever, based on your needs. Otherwise, if you set a 50, every single time you drive over 50, it's gonna give you a warning on the top. It's gonna be quite annoying. And, and next is the next service. We're gonna click OK. We can see the vehicle is 38 and 700 Ks to go to the next service. In New Zealand, Australia, all the MG4 EVs service interval is every two years or every 40,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. And it will give you a warning before you reach this 40,000 K mark, but it's not gonna give you a warning based on the time. Based on the time, you have to check your service sticker or make sure you put a date in your own calendar to keep you, keep you in mind. Uh, so there's nothing the vehicle will tell you, the vehicle will only tell you before you reach 40,000 Ks. If you do want to reset the service reminder, that means you can long press hold the middle button and to reset. Otherwise, single click to go back to the original screen. Next one is your music. Right now it's playing on FM. That means it's going to show we are playing on the FM coast right now. And if you want to uh, click OK, that, that means you can go into the FM list to go up and down to select whatever you like on this particular FM radio. If you are playing anything else, you can select different something else as well. In New Zealand, DAB is not available, unfortunately, so we're not going to show you the DAB. Next is the information screen. Right now, the information will show you 14.2 voltage at the 12 volt battery, so very healthy. We don't need to worry about that. If it drops too low, it's gonna give you a warning for sure. And you can see the tire pressure monitoring system. Right now, the tire pressure on all four tires are around 260 to 250 kPa. So again, they are healthy, the tire pressure. If they drops to too low, it's gonna give you a warning on your dashboard. That means you need to check your tire pressure, get it repaired or puncture fixed, or even replace the sensor if the sensor is faulty. Right now, no warning light. That means we are good. Next one, we have the vehicle information screen. This vehicle information screen has three different sort of consumption settings. If we go up, we can go to the from last charge. From last charge means last time after you charge the vehicle, how long the vehicle has been run for and stuff like that. It's been running for one hour or something, five Ks, average speed really low because the vehicle has been idling on the yard for people to show, people to see and the consumption is really, really high as I'm sitting right now. If you do wish to reset, you can long press OK, long press hold, and that will reset just like that. Next, from the start, that means once since we start this vehicle, just this time, or the last few hours, I think, it's only gonna memorize in a few hours, and it will calculate your consumption. Again, time, kilometers traveled, average speed, and average consumption. If you do want to reset, push and hold to reset. Next is cumulative total. This is based on how, when it was the last reset, based on the information. And then you can also see your odometer, which is your 1,300 Ks on this particular vehicle. And you can see the cumulative total, same thing. Push and hold to reset the cumulative total if you wish. So yeah, that's the four screens on this particular panel or particular section. 
underneath we will also have the information this is on pay park if it's on drive neutral obviously it will change seatbelt warning because i'm not wearing my seatbelt right now so there's a little bit seatbelt warning sport that's the driving mode and percentage power it'll show your percentage power once you put the foot down to go up or down if your percentage power go up it means you are pressing the foot on the accelerator the car is sending you power if the percentage power is lower than zero percent that means it's doing regenerative braking and on the right that's your regeneration braking indicator number three means heavy regeneration and number two number one means moderate to low and a means adaptive and our last one is s for one pedal driving and there you have it thanks for watching please subscribe and like if you enjoy the contents i'll see you in the next video for the mg4 tutorial videos